Hi everybody, my name is Brittany. Um, I'm 27 years old, soon to be 28 in September, and I'm a nurse in the United States Army. So what do I see when I look in the mirror? Um, I see someone that's tired. I see someone that's not fully happy with what I currently have and who's still trying to find themselves. I'm still young. I still have enough time. Well, I can't even say I still have enough time. You're always going to learn yourself in life regardless of your age. Sometimes I tend to put too much pressure on myself. So I... I'm still learning and I'm still trying to figure out who it is that I see my journey so I have two children um, two girls 10 and 5 years old I was married when I was 19 that's when I first got married which honestly that probably wasn't the best decision I've made but now that I think about it it's good that I made it at that age so I can know what I want, what I don't want, the type of man I would like to be with, and so forth. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I can't even sit here and lie. Um, you know, everybody goes through different things in life and trying to be a mother and a wife during that time and still figure out myself and still be in the military and everything of that sort it took a toll on me i lost my one of my closest friends in 2013 which is the same year that i joined the military and that year was devastating from losing a friend dealing with other stuff with my ex-husband well he was my husband at the time my ex-husband and women just everything everything i started drinking most people don't know this but i started drinking 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 it was more so because i was hurt with everything and i was tired i was tired i went to behavioral health twice since I've been in the military. And, you know, sometimes people have the stereotype of, okay, you know, you go get help and, you know, now you're viewed as crazy or anything of that sort. But that's not the case. The first woman that I spoke with before, she already seen it in my face. When I, when I stepped into the office, she asked me one question. I looked at her. She handed me the tissue. I started crying. She started crying too. It was so much. It's like... Is it? When I, when I think about where I really came from, I can't say that, you know, I grew up in a, a terrible childhood and, you know, parents couldn't afford anything of that sort or anything like that because that wasn't the case um things were definitely different growing up and um all i can say is when you get older or if you already know that something is bothering you from your childhood or anything like that, it's easier and safer to confront it before it gets too carried away. Before you start involving other people in your life and stuff when you haven't healed from your childhood traumas or anything of that sort. It's... Ah... <sighs> <laughs> I never I never folded under pressure. I never broke or anything like that. As Renee liked to say, you bend. 
Boy, did I have to bend a lot. Oh, I had to bend a lot. Renee can definitely tell you I had to bend so much. It's um, any decision in anything that I've done, it was a conscious decision to make at the time. And anything that I continue to do is still, everything is still a conscious decision. But one thing I had to do along this journey was to realize one, you cannot change anybody. Two, you have to confront all of your demons, all of them, or they will confront you and they will take over at your weakest point. And you know, you, you never know what happens. You will never know what will happen with that. Um, I hit rock bottom. 2013 was the time that I hit rock bottom. It was, it was so much that occurred. So, and no one truly knows. Some people still don't know, but it was everything internal. Everything was internal. Um, I used to black out more. I used to be um, angry, but people wouldn't see it because, you know, you master the smile and everything like that. But deep down the side, I was really, really toxic. I was really sad. I was depressed. I contemplated suicide several times. Several times. And it's been is it's been a journey. It's it's definitely been a journey. How did I lift myself up? I had to focus on me. I, I'm used to, okay. I don't know if anyone can relate, but when you always, when you're always viewed as someone who's supposed to be perfect, you're always supposed to get good grades. You're, you're the youngest child. You do this, you do that. You got honor roll, this, that you went to college. You're the first one with a degree. You continue school and everything of that sort. You always have to be perfect. Always have to be perfect. When you're in a relationship, and that's what I always knew when I'm in a relationship, perfect. You got to smile. You got to do this. You got to do, do that. You got to take care of everything and everything. It will break you down <laughs> if you don't realize that one, you're not perfect. You're not built to be perfect every time. Me, I'm the prime example of that. I have can't tell you how many times I had nervous breakdowns. I broke down several times. It'll be like, okay. All right, I cried out. Do X, Y, and Z. All right, I'm good again. Me being me, if someone needs help, I'm going to be there to help. If someone needs advice, I'll be there for advice. If anyone needs anything, if someone needs a house, if someone needs a car, okay, I'm here. I got you. But what about me? And I, I never was the type of person to sit around and ask for help. No. Um, Even till this day, the times that I contemplated suicide, I never asked for help. It was always something that I felt like I needed to deal with on my own. The last time that I contemplated was <laughs> this past April. It's uh, It's a lot of stuff that people don't realize that other people are actually going through but it does take a toll on you and during that time i didn't have any faith like i wasn't a christian or anything of that sort i decided to get into christianity because that's what my mother forced on us growing up but 
I'm still a work in progress, just like other people are. The way I lift myself up is to remember my purpose and who I am. I'm, I feel like I would consider myself a natural healer and when my energy and everything is depleted, I'm left with an empty cup. Most people, it's like a, a race. You know, you see stragglers behind and you want to run back to go get them after you already finished the race. And you already used that energy, but you still feel like you should go back and help them. So when you help them, you motivate them, you push them, and they start taking off, you're still back there, still with a lack of energy, still trying to make your way across the finish line as well after you went back to go help somebody else. I had to learn how to say no. That's still something I'm, I'm still currently working on, how to say no. Because I, I care too much. I really, I really, really care too much. And I just want everyone to be happy. I sacrifice what makes me happy for other people to be happy. I can feel how other people feel. And I just want everyone to... I just want everybody to be free and feel happy and not feel pain or anything. And I'm willing, which sounds crazy because I don't have a God-like mentality. But it's like I'm willing to take on your problems as my own so you can feel peace. That's something that I had to learn not to do. I'm still learning that because I still tend to do that. And I'm currently doing that right now. But it's still a work in progress. But at the end of the day, I had to save me. I had to save me from my own thoughts and my own mind and everything like that. Mental health is really big for me. Just because I know where I came from and I know where I'm trying to go. I went to school for psychology only because I really want to help people. And it's it's like it's 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 so much bigger than me. It's so much bigger than the surface and bigger than everyone. It's I it's just if everyone had good mental health, a lot of stuff wouldn't occur in this world. You know, it's, I just want to help too much. I, I really just want to help too much. What advice would I give someone or would I give my younger self? I would say live your life. Do not live up to everyone else's expectations of you. And it's okay to make mistakes. You're not perfect. You're not meant to be perfect. Just live, continue to study and learn, but, con but also keep in mind that you're not here for a long time. Have fun, enjoy your life, live, breathe, it just, Take in everything that this world has to offer. This entire world, travel, just be authentic to yourself. Um, what am I still working on? I'm still working on my mental health. I'm still working on saying no and trying to separate my reality of what I can do and what I should do versus what I want to do. Cause I want to do a lot. I would like to get all the homeless people off the streets and, 
you know, volunteer every weekend and everything of that sort, but I have to be more realistic with my time and what I currently have going on and everything of that sort. Because at the end of the day, I have two little girls looking up to me. Granted, they don't see anything. <laughs> they don't see anything. All they see is mommy goes to work. Mommy's a nurse. <laughs> mommy's in the army. And mommy has degrees and she's the best mom ever. I'm still learning who I am. And what makes me happy what makes me sad and angry? I don't know. This is just, this is a journey and I don't regret anything that occurred in life or anything. It It's all a good experience. But you just got to learn. You got to gotta take the punches, duck and dodge as they come and continue to go. For anyone who struggles with depression or anxiety or anything of that sort. Because my anxiety, my anxiety is really bad. But I fake it so well. It's whatever I put in my head, it becomes reality. As long as I'm sitting here telling me, telling myself, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing it. You will be fine. You will be fine. As soon as I get home, hop in the shower, I am crying. I'm hyperventilating. I'm sitting in the shower, <laughs> really crying. Um, Make sure you really take care of yourself. For anyone who's ever contemplated suicide, please take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health first. You know what you're tired of. You know, you know you. So whatever it is, remove it out of your life. At the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's not. Um, you'll have, you have a family, you have friends that will miss you and everything of that sort. I'm not going to sit here and say it's stingy. I can't, that's not my place to say that. But if anything, it, if you would like to just talk to a stranger, listen, I'm here because I can relate. I talk to a lot of people because I can relate to certain things and I'm I'm not the one to just, you know, take offense to a lot of stuff. I like learning. I like picking minds. I like some people picking mine and we just got to get through it together. Anyone that's thinking about joining the military at a young age Figure out why you want to join. If you don't really want to join and you're trying to live up to someone's expectation, like I said before, because my father was in the military as well, the army. Don't do it. Make sure it's something that you truly want to do. Do Matter of fact, bump everything that I said. Whatever you want to do in life, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. We are not living up to no one's expectations. We're not doing anything like that. We are going to be happy individuals. We're going to focus on ourselves and our families and what brings us peace. We're going to get rid of all the negative energy, the negative thoughts, anything of that sort. We are going to make it. We are going to progress. You will become who you are through your experiences and every single thing that you experience is a lesson, whether it is good or it's bad. It's really all dependent on how you take it and the message you decide to put in your head regarding it. 
So I know I rambled on everything. I tend to do it when I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Renee told me it, you know, it's just like talking to people, but I'm not a big talker really. But I'm here. We're still on the journey. We're still becoming her. I'm taking it one day at a time. If anyone who's watching this video need advice or want someone to talk to or just anything of that sort, I am definitely here. And we will make it. All right. Bye.